In this video, we're going to show you the steps on how to format your university assignment slash report on Microsoft Word. In this example, we have a dissertation which I use for my university submission. However, I've removed all the formatting, so I can show you the steps from start to finish. It should be noted, the specific requirements for formatting will differ depending on the type of assignment and place of study. This video should therefore be taken as more of a guide on Microsoft Word rather than a guide on the specific formatting requirements for your piece of work. Also, the steps in this video are in no particular order, rather the order I like to follow when formatting a document. OK, so here we have our dissertation. The first thing we're going to want to do is change the style. This includes the font, the size and the spacing. To do this, we simply click Styles pane. We then go to Normal. Modify style, and it brings up some options. For this particular piece of work, we need to put the font in Times New Roman, and the size of the font needs to be 12. The line spacing needs to be 1.5, and we need to make sure we justify the text. After we've made our changes, we simply click OK, and the formatting has been complete. Now, you might want to adjust your document slightly after this because sometimes things can go out of place. The next thing you may want to change is the margin size. To do this, you click Layout, Margins, Custom Margins, and here you can change the details. For us, this is exactly what we need, so we're going to leave it as it is. The next step is to insert some page numbers. Simply double click the footer, which brings up some options in the toolbar. If we click Page Number, Select where we want the number shown, so in this case the bottom right hand corner. Click OK and the page number appears. Now we might want to put some key information in the header as well. For example, you could put your student ID or the course title. Next we want to create a contents page. Now we can actually get Microsoft Word to create the contents page for us. It does this by taking the headings within our assignment. However, for this to happen, we need to mark what is a heading. To do this, we'll use these two styles here, Heading 1 and Heading 2. So we just simply highlight the text and click Heading 1. And then we do the same for Heading 2. Essentially, Heading 1 is a main header and then Header 2 is a subheader. OK, once you've done this for the whole document, we need to create some room for a contents page. Simply create a new page at the start of your document and then at the top of the page, click Table of Contents this can be found in the References tab. You can then select the style of content page that you would like, and it will generate a table of contents based on all of your headers. OK, next we want to insert a cover page. To do this, we go to Insert, Cover Page, and select a style that we would like. Now the title page is going to include some key information. For example, the module title, the title of the assignment, your name, the university, the course code, and perhaps even the word count. This again will depend on your university's requirements. Next we're going to look at the references. Now the references in this document has already been carried out. The way that I like to do it was to manually input the references and then use an external reference generator online. However you can, if you wish, use Word to generate your references. To do this you simply go to references, you go insert citation and then you put in the details of your reference. The benefit of this is then Microsoft Word will generate a bibliography for you. However, in my case, I found it was easier to find an online reference generator. We hope you found this video useful. If there's any other formatting tips that you can think of, let us know in the comments section below. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.